Okay, so in this first video, um, what we're going to do is we're going to start to set up our uh, computers to start developing programming in PHP. So the technology we're using is PHP and SQL, but uh, when you do web apps making PHP and SQL, you also need to use HTML, CSS, and JavaScript and what have you. So it's really a combination of a number of different programming languages, but um, PHP is going to be the main one. So in going through this, um, the first part is to um, log into your computer and verify the following. Make sure that you can create a folder on your desktop, log out, okay, oops, log out, okay, log back in, is the folder still there? If so, then everything's good. And the reason for doing this is um, that you guys have special accounts. You guys, when you log out, and you log back in, your desktop should remain the same no matter what computer you use inside of the building. Um, other people other people don't have that, so when they log out and they log back in, their desktop gets completely reset. Okay. Now, as programmers, you also need to, to have um, access to the C drive, which again, no one else has that access. So click on Start Computer, go to C, Apache, HT Docs, create a file or folder in this folder, if so, then you're set to go. All right. So go to computer, C, Apache, and HD Docs. See, so you have a number of things here. Just right-click it, new, create a folder, and if you and if it allows you to do that, okay, then you're good to go. You have you have access to the C drive. All right. Now the next step here is to verify the WinLab installed in your workstation. This is a program that uh, basically allows us to. Um, to run uh, to develop in PHP. The difference between WinLamp and uh, a program such as a web browser, such as this web browser, is like we can interact and we can see the web browser. This is a program. We can see it running. We could interact with it. But with um, WinLamp, it's running, but it, you can't really see it. It it just runs in the background. So it's a different kind of a program. So click on the following link, um, or simply just uh, take this link copy it and paste it in here and then here you can see <coughs> sorry here you can see that um, it's actually run uh, has some output yours is not going to look like this but as long as you see something and not a blank page then you're all okay all right so what you're looking at here is this is the this is the um, the web server serving up or showing me a web page when I go to localhost all right more on this later. Create some desktop icons. You're going to need to create an icon called uh, Eclipse.exe. Uh, You'll find it in C, in the C drive, Eclipse, Eclipse.exe. I'm not sure if mine is there, but let's go have a look. So go to C drive, and here's Eclipse. <coughs> right click that, send to desktop, okay, to create that shortcut. You also want a uh, a shortcut to Dreamweaver, uh, such as that, and a shortcut to localhost. So the easiest way to get a shortcut to localhost is in here. Just uh, you know, just go to localhost and just click in your browser bar and put it right in there, just like that. Okay. Now, what you you should also have, um, I didn't don't have it in here. Is I'm gonna put it here shortcut to HT Docs and shortcut to um, web folder on your Z drive. Okay, so remember the Z drive, the network, is where you keep your personal uh, files and folders. So <coughs> go to C, go to Apache, and in HT Docs, right-click that, send to desktop. Okay, that will create a uh, an HT Docs folder. What the HT Docs folder is is if you look in this folder. This is where your programs go when you're ready to run it and see how it runs or if it runs. Okay, this is not where we're going to work on the program. So you got in your head, you have to separate two things. We're going to work on our programs in one place on the computer, and then we're going to copy those files to a different place, and that's where we're going to run it. Okay, so separate the two, working on the files in one place and we copy it to a different part of the computer to run it. We don't run the files from the same place that we work on them. 
So in the in the Apache 2 HC docs, this is where we put the files when we want to see them running. Okay. <coughs> now, if you haven't guessed, the other one is um, webs. That's where we're going to work on the files. So mine is just in my um, sorry, mine is in my documents folder. So in the documents folder, I have a folder called webs. Okay, so create one in your Z folder. So click on computer and look for Z. Okay. Now, uh, and then create a folder called webs. When you, when you do that, you right click it, right, and you send it to your desktop, right. In the webs folder, this is where we're going to do our programming. This is where we're going to do our work. Okay. This is where we're going to edit the files. And when we're done editing it, we're going to copy it from here into the htdocs folder. Okay. And then when we want to see our work running, we want to see what we did. We click into here, all right, and we um, <coughs> uh, and we could run a program. So I have all these dozens of programs running, all right. I could see, you know, uh, doing. So you run a PHP program through, but right, more on this later. Okay, so once you've done once you've done that, we're ready to go into Dreamweaver and uh start a uh start a new site. Okay? So more on that on the next video.